Welcome back to P1. Today we're looking at transforming functions, unit 4.6. So in this one, we're going to look at combining what we did essentially in the last two videos and applying them to questions. Very straightforward. Uh, I'll try not to make this one too long. Before we get started though, if you are new to the channel or you have been here before but haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to comment in the section down below for anything you want to see or any changes you want to make or if there's a specific question that you're unsure about and you want me to go through. So don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Okay, so first example is about sketching. So we've got a graph, we don't know what f of x is, but we're given the two points a and b, and we're given one of the points where it crosses the axes. So the first one now, sketch y equals f of x plus one. So inside the brackets means it's horizontal, plus one we do the opposite so we want to move one space to the left or one unit left so moving one space or one unit to the left will mean that i now cross the origin my point a is going to be two seven b is going to be four negative one and that's all i need to do second one now we're looking at f of x minus two so minus two, it's inside the bracket, it's horizontal, and we are moving it two units to the right. So here we are looking at something like this. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I can state this point as we know it. A is now two to the right, so it's five, seven, and B will be seven negative one and i'm only labeling the points that i know these points like this one and this one i was given no indication what they are here and i don't know what this is so there's no need to work them out final one of the sketches so first let's make it y equals so it's going to be a half f of x this is going to affect my y's and not my x's and it's going to make my values of y half the size. So something like that. So a is going to be 3, 7 over 2, or 3.5. b is going to be 5 minus a half. And I'm going to cross here, we don't know. And this is still the value 1. Uh, just slightly misdrawn there, but it would be fine as long as it's not drawn on the same axes. If I did draw on the same axes, you know, I'm just looking at half my y values. So I'm looking at something that would look like this. Still crossing at the same points. Okay, and that's what's important. You'd still be crossing at the same points in terms of the x values, just the y values are half the size. And remember, a sketch is all about just the shape. Now, this time, what we're going to do is we're just going to state the values of a and b. So y equals f of 2x, so we need to half our x's, so we get 3 over 2, 7 and 5 over 2 minus 1. For part b, we've got 3 times f of x, so we're going to multiply our y values by 3, and nothing happens to our x values. Part c, we are doing f of x plus 1, it's outside of the bracket, so it affects y, increase of 1, so we're just adding 1 to our y values. And then finally, we've got one that affects y here and y here. So which one do we do first? Because it would affect them. 
So looking at this, we do it in the order of bid mass. So we want to do the, this multiplication before we do the addition. So we want to take our values of x and they will stay the same. So I'll put my b1 in here as 5. Then we want to half our y values and add 1. So 7 over 2, so 9 over 2 here, or 4.5. And then our minus 1 will become minus a half, plus 1 becomes a half. And really there's not much to this. I'm going to give you a few questions and then I'll go through them at the end. So with this one, based on the graph, we can see what we want to look at is that it's A on the outside. So it's affecting the Y's and it's multiplying. So our X's are going to stay the same as we can see. For P and Q, if we look at the Y's, how do I get from 4 to 6? So what I'm doing is that A times 4 is going to be equal to that 6. So that means A is 6 over 4 or 3 over 2. And that is my value. Multiply that 4 by 1.5 and I will get my 6. Part B, looking at what I'm trying to find here, we've got a quarter F of X minus 8. So looking at the outside, we're going to multiply our Y values by a quarter and then subtract 8. Now my value of x is going to stay the same. So I'm taking 4, I'm multiplying by a quarter, and then I'm going to subtract 8. So this is going to give me 1 minus 8, negative 7. So my new coordinate is 3, negative 7.